Einstein tells us, and this is, uh, let's do, the, bring in the, the multiverse for this too, right? Einstein told us that space is like stretchable, right? So it, it expands. Um, so we have uh, the moment of the Big Bang and the universe or existence as a whole, we might say, space and time, um, evolves according to the law of inflation. So we keep getting a bigger and bigger area of space. And some physicists think that this inflation happens eternally, that it isn't reasonable to say that it just stopped as soon as our universe was created or one or two later. So what you have is this popular view in physics where you keep getting more and more of these universes and end up with a, a popular multiverse view where every single possible physical reality is realized. So there's worlds, according to this view, where we're having this conversation in Spanish or, God forbid, French, right? Or it was a very nearby possible world where we're having this conversation in Italian, German, or Japanese, right? Exactly the same words, exactly the same pauses, yeah, yeah. infinitely. There's, there are yeah. worlds, though, and the, I think the real question we want to ask, there are a bunch of these multiverse views. We spoke at the start about the purpose of philosophy, Mary Midgley clarifying these concepts. Uh, this is an idea my friend Ellie Robson convinced me of recently, that it's a really important job in philosophy. We haven't done a good job in physics and philosophy of defining the multiverse. We keep using the word, but you've had Sean Carroll on the show, who's fantastic, and you know, I've spoken to him about the um, his many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Yeah, You've got views in philosophy that give you every single metaphysical possibility. The easiest one to illustrate is just this inflation model that I've just given. But what we really want to know is why this like matters. Like, Does this change the value of the world? Because there are universes where... You know, little girls are born, they're tortured for their whole lives, they're executed, and it repeats, right? There are universes where Matt Damon's career didn't get worse, but it got better, right? So there are good universes too. But on the whole, that means you've got an uncountable number, an uncountable number of bad universes and an uncountable number of good universes. So I think if the multiverse theory is actually true, as agnostics or atheists, we should be really fucking worried like, this is a horrible state of affairs. If there are all of these worlds, if you actually believe that they exist, you shouldn't be singing and buzzing with the bees and jumping with the shrimp and, and you know, being all excited about existence. Like, we should, uh, we should be really concerned. But we're really concerned about things that we're not even sure exist that are horrific? Yeah, well, you should be... You know what I'm saying? It. Like, yeah, that's of existential angst to the... Yeah, the power yeah. of a thousand. Well, there's a couple of problems there, right? Well, there's there's three big problems that come out of it. The main one, which we've just linked to, is like, if you're trying to weigh up the overall value of existence, is the world, i.e. the multiverse, a good thing on the whole or a bad thing? And I think if you say that there is, let's just say it's infinite, even though it might not be, if you say there's infinite suffering and infinite goodness, that doesn't seem like you can be optimistic. You'd have to go, on the whole, the existence is like neutral, mixed, or maybe it's bad. Maybe you don't want a city where everyone's getting tortured next door to a city where everyone's living a blissful life. But in our own experience on Earth, horrific things and beautiful things are happening simultaneously. Yeah, yeah. And generally speaking, more beautiful things than horrific, but we count, we concentrate on the negatives. Yeah. You know, uh, to sit around and ponder the multiverse being an infinite number of evil civilizations destroying themselves and torturing themselves. Okay, let's. How is that any different than thinking about demons? How how is that any you know? How is yeah. that any different than thinking about you know, the 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 puppet masters of the of the universe controlling all of our minds? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's it's just mental masturbation. Like there's there's no way you're gonna know whether or not there's a, a multiverse of people suffering. So to not be happy in this beautiful existence because perhaps there's a multiverse in which infinite suffering is occurring yeah. seems to me to be a giant waste of an amazing trip. 